Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Music with Todd Ledbetter, you're here. And uh, I just reminded that uh, it's probably time to get back to some more Echolin. I think that's how you say it, Echolin, not really sure. Uh, uh, people are trying to help me out and I'm trying to get it, but uh, you know, they're writing it out for me. So Echolin, um, very awesome. I've done a couple of tunes uh, from them. War Jazz and Empyrean Views, which uh, I love that song. Uh, Empyrean Views was, I love the vocals on that. Um, but uh, uh, the, uh, hey everybody, whoops, sorry about that. I just was wanted to look. Brett Cole, uh, he uh, just sent me a message on that one. I, I did this quite a few, like seven months ago or so, but uh he uh he saw it and said uh thanks again for listening and sharing and he said i wrote the words on this one which is the uh empyrean view, empyrean view uh the heart of the song is the story of human migration from africa and how we attach meaning to the journeys we experience anyways uh that's what's we already did that one so if you want to check it out you can definitely do that but uh on that same video somebody recommended uh one of the first songs they heard and has been a fan of them ever since is the song the end is beautiful so that's what we're going to do today we're going to check out the end is beautiful um and uh get right into it so why don't we do that get you whoops not that there we go let's check it out the end is beautiful ecolin really like their sound.
great beat change. Nice feel. I ever expect I, I always I don't re I, you know I don't know what to expect but they're they've got a bit of a jazzy element to them but um you know and I, sometimes people you know people do this they they compare bands to other bands um and just to kind of it helps me to kind of wrap my head around uh you know who they are and, and what their sound is like and you know if it's something that I can relate to, but I mean, and I, this song sounded a little bit like Ambrosia, uh, but the early, early Ambrosia, the first couple of few albums, you know, up to like Life Beyond LA, they started having some big hits there, but um, their early stuff was real progressive and kind of jazzy, a lot of really cool um, chord changes and uh, uh, the bass was just killing it. Um, so this was from 2005, The End is Beautiful. That's the title track of the album. So maybe that's what the guy, uh, the viewer said is that he heard this album was really, really, really liked it. Um, yeah, so that, that was pretty cool. 2005, looks like they have uh, a 2015 uh, song there too. But I just wanted to check on uh, who these guys are real quick. If there's a, any kind of a bio. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Equalin style has been termed update progressive, updated progressive rock due to the band's classically trained, highly professional members. Vocals, vocalist Ray Weston, guitarist, vocalist. Okay, so Brett is Brett Cole is the one that uh, has been chiming in on my channel. Hi, Brett. Thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, uh, checking out the songs, and I love it. I think you guys are really great so far. Everything I've heard is really fantastic. Um, also, they got a keyboard player named Chris Buzz, Busby and bassist Tom Hyatt and drummer Paul Ramsey. So very cool. Uh, I was just looking to see if I could see where they're from. Um, I don't see exactly where they're from. But uh, maybe you'll let me know, right? You'll let me know where they're from. Um, maybe they're, I don't know, they're, they're playing all over the place are there they've got the listeners from all over so uh really like the band though they sound really good uh, i like the guitar playing the um the guitar playing was really good i liked all of the different changes and and licks that that they were doing uh i say licks but i guess that's i guess that's what you call it but um really really cool basically just kept me interested in the song constantly it never got boring you know it started off you know in a certain vein and a little almost like feeling jazzy um and you know as far as my comparison with ambrosia there was just a few little spots that sort of gave me a little bit of the early early ambrosia feel 
um, but it was really, really good. Obviously, these guys are great. Um, and the bass playing was fantastic, of course, you know. Uh, I, I pick up on that for, for sure, but everything was good. Really, really liked it a lot. Um, good stuff. I'll have to check out more because uh, this is only the third song I've done of theirs, and everything I've heard has been really interesting to me. Uh, really piques my uh, musical... Um, uh, gets me gets my musical saliva going. Ugh. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, it's drooling the whole time. No, I was. It was really cool because they kept me off guard. I didn't know where they were going to go next. And some really quirky uh, guitar runs that were not quirky weird, but just intricate and different enough from like the normal that you think you might expect here. Uh, just made the song uh very very uh unique unto itself um so very cool very nice stuff uh i, I appreciate good musicianship and good songwriting and song crafting that's you know not the same old thing so they have a very unique sound you know obviously i again i compared them to ambrosia but they do have their own unique sound especially when you go back and you listen to some of the other uh songs that i've heard already from them uh, like uh, Empyrean Views for one and the other one what was the other one um, oh yeah War Jazz that was cool too so good stuff from them and looking forward to hearing some more let me know what you think Brett if you want to do an interview I'd be more than happy to uh, uh, do some kind of a zoom with you and you can talk about what, you, what you're doing now with music if you guys are still playing or what your new project is love to uh, learn more about you guys so uh hit me up if you're interested in that and we will see you guys in the next video and down in the comments uh, if you want to hear some more uh just just uh let me know down in the comments or you can go join me over on ko-fi and that really helps out the channel also uh, i have a patreon that's um uh, trying to get off the ground and so join me over there we'll do some more stuff there but I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the great recommendations. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.